so in this tutorial we're going to be tackling these crystals we're going to be doing this render right here we're going to be adding this glass and just making this very fantasy interesting look on a side note this is my instagram if you make the render feel free to send it to me you see a lot of my other personal work and i love to talk to you guys and see your work so keep it coming and let's get into the tutorial so what we're going to do is hit shift a and we're going to add an isosphere we're going to go over here to our transform settings and we're going to scale it up here on the z and we're going to add a decimate modifier and once we do that now it's going to start looking like a crystal and so this is a procedural way to make crystals and you can make little iterations and all kind of things and make different ones and squash it and stretch it but we're going to be doing this right here now what i want to do is just quickly add a light just so we can preview it here in our cycles render engine scale it up and i'm going to give a strength of 500. so now let's add our material to this so the at a very basic level it's just a glass material so we're going to go down and add some transmission and we're going to keep it rough and if we go to rendered you can see there's our crystal very simple but it doesn't look like this we have a little bit more to do so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this crystal i'm going to go over here to wireframe view so i can see what i'm doing i'm going to hit shift d and i'm going to scale it down a little bit and i'm going to remove the material and add a new one so the glass material is in this guy and the new material is going to be on this guy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the outside crystal and hit h to hide and let's go and add some stuff to this one so as you can kind of see on the render the inside one is very smooth compared to the one on the outside so we're going to add a bevel modifier so add bevel and then right here on width we're going to bring it right around there and then here on segments i'm going to give it 10 segments and now we have pretty smooth i'm going to hit shade smooth here and then bring the width around kind of like that and then bring up some segments until it looks good right about there and it, it looks kind of crappy but you're not going to tell once it's actually inside of our glass here we can kind of preview it right now i'm going to bring down the roughness here on our shader right about there so we can kind of see the thing going on and then i'm gonna scale him down a little bit say if i were to take him and make it red now you can really see what's kind of going on in there but we kind of have a gradient going on so let's go and make that gradient so we're going to go up here to the shading tab here and i'm going to hit z on look dev and then right here let's make it metallic and let's add a color ramp and then let's make this black bring it all the way to white give it kind of a teal look and then we're going to take this one and we're going to make it purple so right now they're just mixing we need to add a gradient node here so gradient texture plug the color into the factor and you can kind of see it working on this side here and you can go and take like linear you can take quadratic and it just sort of places it in different areas so i'm going to use quadratic and then we're going to add a mapping node plug the vector into the vector and a texture coordinate here and we're going to plug the object into the vector so now we have it right here in the middle and then if we want to expound on this we can take our color ramp and just sort of squash it just like that and now you can see some cool stuff happening and then we'll go back to our isosphere and of course this is eevee can't really see what's going on we'll go to the cycles render and now we really have some cool stuff happening here in our crystal so now i'm going to go ahead and add a background here so i'm going to add a plane i'm going to hit rx90 and we're just going to set up a little scene here scale this up i'm going to add a camera and just snap it here this is just extra stuff i'm going to give it a metallic dark gray material and we can go back and kind of see what's happening and now you have this really interesting crystal and you can play around and move around the lights and see more of the edges here and play with the reflections and have a lot of fun and just doing things and it's really really easy and you can go and iterate and go back to the decimate modifier and just make different crystals and have them stack and have a really cool design with that and there you go thanks for watching